Hello, I'm Gary O'Malley. I'm going to introduce you to um, some friends of mine, um, members of the, the team that I was part of, we're all part of. Um, we'll take you through We'll take you through some history of Raglan and um, then we'll concentrate on just a couple of dances. Now I know there's a lot of experience in this room in terms of your, your dancing capability and if we show you something you already know, I'm kind of sorry about that, um, but it'd be good to see what you're also doing as well. So hands up anybody who's done Raglan before, so we get an idea of the numbers. So that's a good 50%. Um, what we might do later on, if we have time, or maybe quite soon, is I might get a set of people up out of those people who've done Regla and then get you to dance it so we can see what it looks like. Because I dare say, I dare say it's moved on. Now, out of everybody here, so I'll introduce you to the other guys in a second, um, but, but I'm the corrupt member, okay, because I was part of the team um, when we set up Regla. Um, and I moved on uh, in later years to dance with Hammersmith, who also uh, did Raglan. So I'm sure even in the bit I've done, it moved on a little bit. And what we've got, we've got some, um, a couple of original members of Bantams who haven't danced Raglan for probably 20 years since we stopped doing it. Probably about 20 years ago, was it? Something like that. So they're, they're not corrupt, so you need to listen to them and not to me um, on, 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 the, on, the, on the technical side of things. And. Um, so let's actually let's start with the introductions. So uh, over here we've got Kevin Randall. Kevin's one of the original bantams as well. Uh, we've got Rowan De La Salle, who's going to be leading the workshop on the uh, technical side of the dancing. We've got Colin Baker, uh, who's one of our members, um, one of our original members really, a long time ago, Colin. Yeah. yeah. And uh, if you've seen any notation on Raglan, it was probably Colin who wrote it in conjunction with, um, with, with maybe Pete as well, yeah. Pete's input, yeah. Um, We've got Cathy Saunders here. Now, this is like royalty, right? You're looking at royalty now. We were having a joke yesterday. Um, what do we call it? Pr Pr Priscilla Saunders. Yeah. Like, Pr like Priscilla, Priscilla Presley. So, the, the, guy, the guy who invented um, Bradman is a guy called Peter Saunders. And uh, we've got a couple of pictures of him. Unfortunately, he died um, two years ago, Cathy, in 2011, March 2011. And you'll see him on the, on, on the videos that we, we brought along. Um, very inspirational guy, did a lot for us when we were kids in terms of um, bringing us uh, through the dancing. We'll talk a lot about, uh, we'll talk a little bit about that and draw on um, Colin's knowledge from that time and, and, and Cathy's particularly. Um, and we'll start from there. Then we'll, we're going to concentrate on two dances. I suspect, has anybody done a raglan stick dance yet? Yeah? Which, which, which call out the names you've done? We just tried it at a workshop, but I couldn't. Okay. You tried it at workshop. Who ran the workshop? Nick. Nick Walden. Okay, that's not bad. Yep. And um, do you can remember what stick dance you did? Who, who had the hand up down there? Somebody did. All right. So um, with, with <coughs> Colin, let's, let's, let's come over. We'll talk a bit about the history, Cassie. Okay? So, yeah. So, so, right. What, what, what we're going to do is um, just go back a bit. To few words about how it came together, um, and I'll uh, talk about it, Kath will correct me when I get it wrong. Uh, we had a get together on Friday night, and um, we decided that between us we all remembered it differently. So uh, this is roughly what we've come up with as being fairly accurate, but we could be wrong. Um, so the bits we do know, Kath was involved in it was that they were formed as boys, uh, infant school. Junior. Junior, sorry. Junior there. I told you I'll get it wrong. Uh, junior uh, boys side um, that uh, lasted for quite a few years, went out, did uh, various uh, competitions and things, went to festivals like Broadstairs and other things around and started to get quite well known as a young boys side. Um, and that's when these lads here were introduced to Morris. Uh, so that's where it originally started from. Um, that came about because Pete was a teacher um, and he was sitting in the classroom one day. Staff room. Staff room. Staff room. And uh, he uh, was challenged. He's, he said, well I'm a teacher, I can teach anything. You know, oh. doesn't matter what. This is in East London, right? Um, so one of the other heavens, Chris? Deputy Head Deputy Mistress Mr. came along and she said, well, I think you can't teach this lot Morris dancing. <laughs> so he said, of course I can. And I thought, oh, okay. And I, 
can't go and do it now. So he went away, he went to Chingford Morrisman, um, joined Chingford Morris for a bit, uh, learned a few things about Morris, came back, taught the kids. Um, the school had uh, some bantam cocks in the playground because the uh, school was interested in bringing the countryside into uh, inner city London. And they said, that's what we'll call them, we'll call them Bantam Cox Morris. And that's where that started from. Um, he went on, he did some other stuff. Uh, he taught um, another school side, um, got them going. Uh, then he started doing uh, some evening classes um, and taught various people, adults and others. And that's where I came in and started picking it up, uh, which was in the late 70s. Early 80s, yeah. Early 80s. Yes. Um, and the uh, tradition of Raglan really started around about that time, although Willing Girls was a bit earlier, wasn't it? The stick dances were done by the kids. Yeah. And the kids uh, learned them, and they, that was basically uh, the, their own little tradition they did, the stick dances. But, but, but at that time, Colin, is it fair to say well, I know, I know that it is. We only did stick dances in Raglan. Yeah. So, so at first it was a stick tradition. Yeah. The hanky dancers came later, Yeah. quite a bit later. And, re and the reason why they came along was because they were fit young men. They were uh, soaking things up in terms of knowledge and ability to do things. And Pete was having, not trouble, but he wanted to keep them challenged um, to keep their interest going. And uh, started, sorry. He, he wanted to stretch them and challenge them because by that time, over about a 10 year period, he taught them clog and they'd won a Blackpool Tower at Ballroom. I think the Westmoreland and Lancashire Club Championships. They, they were really good at rapper and longsword. So that's why he wanted to introduce a new tradition. Um, but the thing was, um, in those days, you didn't say you were inventing a tradition because it was kind of frowned upon. But Peter kind of philosophically subscribed to the idea that there was magic and mystique in Morris. So always played down where he found out um, the information about his sources. Another historical fact is, at the time, Peter was absolutely terrible at playing the melodeon. And so, I, we're happy to know this <laughs> And eventually he taught uh, Gary to play, which is probably testament to the fact that you don't have to be able to do something well to be able to teach it. But in the meantime, as I said, there's a bit of history here. He brought me in to play a piano accordion. So in the early days, I played the piano accordion. And that was fine until we got to the point where the lads were being sought by more formal Morris events and conventions. And in those days, you'd be interested in this, women absolutely were not allowed to go to those kinds of events. So Peter kind of sneaked me in under some pretense of being in pastoral care of these young boys. And that's what we had to do in order to avoid the lads having to sing as well as dance. So, as I said, this is the context of rapping, challenging and stretching um, performance that he wanted to elicit from them. Yeah, um, and so as part of that process, the evening classes he was running, we think, and this is where we got a bit hazy and thought, well, this happened then and we, you know this dance and you don't know that dance, so uh, we tried to work out the sort of rough chronology. Uh, so in that, in that, and we reckon that he used the evening class to test things out um, and make sure that things work. Yeah. And then there was another side, small side, vaguely associated with it, that evolved out of the evening classes called Diggins Break. I don't know if they're still going. Um, but they. Um, so where, 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 where did the name Raglan come from? Just, just talk about that oh, for yeah. a second. Um, well, the area where the lads were practicing was, a, if you know East London, a part where Whips Cross Hospital is, and a lot of the um, forest land, part of Epping Forest, and Shurnall Street, and the Lord Raglan pub's been there since forever. Um, and I think it was a, an old telephone exchange name. Um, for that part of London, so that's really why it was called Raglan. 
Yeah, that's enough, do you? Yeah. All right, great. Um, thanks very much, uh, Colin, for the cab. So we've got, we've got the two DVDs we want to show you, but we seem to have a, a little bit of a technical hitch for the moment. Are we anywhere near that, James, I think? Just, just get there. So we're almost there, and we're going to show you. Uh, we, this is in 1984. Uh, we went out to America, we danced on um, stage at Disneyland for a few weeks and we were doing six performances, was it four or six performances four. a day, four performances a day, six days a week. We did that for I think three or four weeks, was it? Yeah, just under a month. Yeah, so we were fairly well practiced at the time. Um, and, and some of it's some of it's some of it's been adjusted to obviously for forward presentation. So we cut, you know, we march on from the side and we finish the set differently so we're facing forward. They're not part of the dance, but uh, we'll, we'll correct those in this workshop. Um, the, the, the stick dances are straightforward double stepping. Okay, so you'll be able to pick those up in a second. And the hanky dances are the one with the step hop, one, two, three hop, which many of you already know, I'm sure. So um, let's take a look at the video. Are we, are we able to do that, do you think? Yeah. yeah? You need to step two sets there. So two sets side by side, just so you can see what we're doing in this set, that's all. Okay. First thing I'd ask you to bear in mind is me and Kev ain't done this for 20 years. Um, and we haven't danced either, so, so just bear that in mind, there might be a few faux pas. Um, this is a pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward, it's all double steps. All the figures are on the B music and all the choruses are on the A music. What happens is the choruses make the set reverse. So if you're number one now, you'll end up being number eight. If you're number two, you'll end up being number seven. And then the final hay gets you back to where you started. That's kind of the, the form of it. On the introduction, so the, the, the ones to yourself if you want is an A music, but the last, the, at the end of the A music, and it's right through all the, all the traditions with it, at the end of the A music, only green paper, plain paper, and then into the figure. Okay? Each figure is just double steps all the way through. I think it's eight double steps, one to six, and then only green paper, plain paper. Okay? Starts with the round. So, is everyone happy to go straight into the round? Straight to the round? Okay, so, if I explain it then, go and play an introduction, which will be the A music. At the end of the A music, you do funny green paper, playing paper, so. Alright, your stitch vertical, up, down, up, down. Funny green paper. Just have a go at that. Try and stick, if your stick goes vertical, it mustn't go behind because you'll just end up doing something with your stick. So vertical all the time. Okay, got that one there. There we go. Where did the angle look you were in? Okay. Always right foot down. Always start right foot down. Can, any, can anyone not do that? Okay. So, if you just watch what I'm doing for a minute, so, the, so we'll have the once to yourself, then there'll be da 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 Then the stick goes on your shoulder. For the foot up, the foot down, and the rounds, sticks carried on the shoulder. The half jib and the back to back is kind of down. Okay? I donh not know why. It just is. Because you made it up. Yeah. Um, so we go, Bonnie Green paper. And then stick on your shoulder, right foot start, double step all the way round to be back in your place. Aiming at the end of the music to be back in the set, in lines, Bonnie Green paper. Okay, go for that. All the way around, back to your place, paper on the spot. 
Straight in. Yeah. Just straight in. Or do we turn? Straight in. Easy way. Facing up or facing in? Facing around. So you. So you. Start. Start. Okay. Oh, sorry. But all all of the raglan stick masses start facing in. So you don't start facing up. So you basically. Let me just let me just clarify. So what we do is. This is my partner here, who wants to sell one green paper and then clash. Alright? And then off. And that's how they all start. They all start the same. Okay. Thank you. 
all right for the start, always right for the start. All the figures start with the body green paper, which is always right for the down, so you can't get them on the floor. Right, the second, the second chorus, we'll go straight into the second chorus. The second chorus, we go straight into the second chorus after the foot up, and that is two and seven doing exactly the same as one and eight did. Okay? The rest of you just stand still with the sound. And then the figure after that is a foot down. Exactly the same as a foot up, but down. Um, so what we'll do, we'll go for, we'll see how we go with it. First chorus, one and eight. Foot up, second chorus, two and seven, foot down, and then we'll stop. Okay? I might drop that up and run around a bit. <laughs> oh, no, please don't. <laughs> okay? <coughs> so, with the first chorus, foot up. First chorus, foot up. Yeah? Yes. Someone on the I want to be here. Well done,
this in one set of music instead of two sets, which it would be in most traditions, I guess. And that goes straight into the fourth, the fourth chorus, which leaves the set reverse. So the only thing we need to do then is a high. Should we have a go at what we'll go from, from the second chord, from the second chorus into the half jig, third chorus, back to back, fourth chorus. Is that how it would yeah, we'll go right. We'll go right from the beginning, and I'll try and pull it out. So we're going to be slightly around. We get back to where you started. Slightly around. First course is one and eight, and I'll pull it as we go. Left. Okay. Right. 
So it always moves two places. So if you're on the end doing a two person start, you end up back in your own place. Two double steps, two places. So that moves us two places. Should we just do that again? So from there. So with two stars on the end, going left, everyone's going left. One, two, three, pop. One, two, three. Body green. Crash. Two right hand sides. So you need to swap there. What does our stick do? Is it there or there or there? So it's there. It's there. Yeah, so stick, for the pay, stick is out of very slow. And you just need to swap hands as, as appropriate. So there. Alright? Well, you get the crash in before you swap. Yeah. Yeah. No, the stick's got to be in the correct hand when you're crashing. Yeah. 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 Sticks, yeah. If you're crashing, sticks in the right hand. You need to sort out about swapping. <laughs> when we do that, I'm trying to work out how we used to do that. Try it out. I found the best way to do it, you don't think about it. Brilliant or not. Okay, now, now we've got two right hand stars. Two places, one, two, three up, one, two, three up. Body green paper, except there's not body green paper there. <laughs> so, so right now we're back in our place that we were. Okay? In place of the body green paper, so this is the end of the dance, the dance finishes facing up, facing tops. We get back to here and instead of body green, here we go bang, bang, and three. Now the finish is on the even side, the sticks over your head, on the off side, the sticks vertical. So on the even side, you're just waiting for the clash. The other side mate. <laughs> Does that make sense? Want to try that? Bang, 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 bang. So it's two clashes and then a wait for the clash. So two clashes and then you've got the clash. Yeah? Let's try that again. That's it. Huh? Under your arm here. Under your arm. So it's some sticks above your head. If you're on the even side, it sticks like that. Waiting to be hit, if you're on the odd side, vertical hit. And it finishes like that. So that's, 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 that's quite, it's quite distinctive, it's quite an important part of it. It's not a clash drop it, it's a clash and the whole set finishes stood like that. That's how you, that's how you stand it, until such time as you decide you're going to walk off. Alright? Guys, on that, on that clash as well, it's still two hands. It's not one hand clash, it's still two, two hands. One, two clash, yeah? So it's two hands when you're clashing. Okay. Do you want me to walk through the hand? Okay, so your set should be reversed. Put your right hand in the middle, make two right hand stars. You set reverse, two right hand stars on the end, move two places, one, two double sets, move two places, body green paper clash. Middle, middle star now, left hand star in the middle, move two places, keep on the end, spin all the way around. So you're back in the place you started at, body green paper clash. And then two right hand stars, move two places, do the final cash, 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 Yeah, so yeah, we've got your set. We've got your set all together. Yeah, so 
everyone? Is that flow with your boat? Black and stick dances. The reason you never saw Bantams doing Black and stick dance is because there was only seven Bantams. <laughs> if you like that, I suggest the three that you do, if you want to do three, are that one, April Fall, really good, and William Brown. What's that one called? That, that one's called Willie Girl Tangle. So it's one called April Fall. Yeah. Really good processional chorus. Um, and William Brown. Right? Can I bring a cat in for a second? Yeah. Cat, do you want to show an I'll explain. Good job, Brad. Yeah. 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 Which they were entitled to do, provided that on the 11th of November, by midnight, they lock harding branches from trees in the forest. And if you don't know what lock harding is, probably it's what you can reach at um, arm's length with an axe. So basically, the, the common folk had to do this once a year in order to maintain their grazing rights for their cattle for the next 12 months. And um, that was fine, apart from the fact that eventually the land and gentry got fed up with it. And there was one of these um, uh, people who decided that they would try and foil this plot. So he organised a feast for the common people, and the idea was that he'd get them so drunk that they wouldn't be able to get out of the hall uh, by midnight to, to do their lock party. However, a man called Thomas Willingham sussed this, and he said to all, all the other people, we have to pretend to get drunk, but don't actually get drunk. And at the end of the evening, when they were going to lock all the doors and the windows, Willingale and all the other common folk just, just went every which way, round the hall, trying to escape out of the windows and the doors in order to do their little party. And they succeeded. And Willingale's tangle, particularly the hay, is supposed to represent, he told me, there's all the peasants running around, um, or the common folk, I don't know if they used to these days, uh, but anyway, running around the hall, trying to get out of the windows and the doors. In other words, um, with the hay, everybody's running which way. It's really difficult to follow where individuals are going, but on the last beat of the bar, they are back in place. So that's a bit of folklore around Willing Girls' Tangle. Okay, thank you, Kathy. Um, listen, we've only got about another half an hour, 40 minutes or something, so put sticks away and uh, we're going to show you another dance. <coughs> and I thought Brad had a good job on that after 20 years of remembering that. Well, that's... <coughs> Alright, so uh, we'll try and get the technology to work again. So, you're going to see now, I, I know some people in this room may have already done this dance, but one of the first dances we did in the, in Raglan on the Hankley dances came about, I think, probably five or six years later. Well, yeah. it is a Raglan. Yeah, it was around about 79, 80, something like that. Yeah. In fact, this video here, when, is this 1984? 84, yeah. Okay, so by 1984, when I was 20, we were dancing this blue-eyed stranger. I know some people in the room have done it. But what you're going to see here is how we used to do it. And I have to say two things about this. Well, one thing about this. This is too fast. I don't know why we did it that fast on that day, but you don't do it this fast, okay? We, did, we, we ended up not doing it at this speed. I don't know why. We did it, I think we did it at this speed to get it into a show because we only had certain... Certain amount of time. Yeah. So um, that's, that's, that's the one thing that's wrong with this. Um, I think this is a video, a DVD of a, a taped video that somebody did. Anyway, who's we're in America here? We're at school, I think. Tennessee. That good looking bloke on the left is me. Yeah. <laughs> Slim version of. Slim version of. Sure. Yeah. Right, let's see if we can get this to work. Where's the, where's the uh, gentleman who was doing the test? John. He's in the uh, dining room. Okay. Oh, oh, you're right. No, it's no, it's no sound. No sound. It's muted. 
muted, Can you, somebody come and unmute it? I brought the lights out, it's quite better. Uh, yes, please, why don't we go unmute? Uh, Karen? 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 Still no sound. Somebody get that guy and we'll do the technology. John, John. 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 John.
Easy way into the round, so a very big pay for the cable. Easy way into the round. Step up one, two, three, up, all the way back to your place. Bottom green paper, paper. All we're happy with that? So give us a go at practicing the step in. We'll do that. That's the introduction. Bottom green paper, paper. At the end of the uh, at the end of the introduction, then straight into the rounds. Same style as the wheel rounds. All right. Okay, so straight from that, first corner, one and six. Exactly the same stepping, plain stepping at each other, pass by the right shoulder, turn left, come back, end up in your place, point green paper. Everyone draws in point green paper, straight to foot up. Okay? So just watch the chorus. Now, 
watch, but we're all doing it together by your partner. So exactly the same files, exactly the same format, but all six of you together with your partner. So essentially a crossover. Okay? Straight into that gap. The important thing in this is to try and watch the lines, really. <laughs> so back to the start. Just facing your partner. 
Don't try moving. And initially, forget the hands. So just try and get the concept to the feet initially. So forget your hands. Just do it facing your partner. And just try and follow the music and keep going through your head. Don't go much, go much slow. And then just step, hop, one, two, three. Just keep saying that to yourself. And your feet will stay right. As long as your feet are connected to your head. <laughs> yeah. So we go one intro, and then all the way through that course, the music will come around. And... Second slice. Second slice. We'll just do it first and then I'll talk you through. 
same format, always step up one, two, three up. <coughs> on the first slow step, it's always by the side, on the second slow step, it's up and down. So it's da, 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 da. Okay? Okay, it's 
can do it hands now, then you've essentially got the essence of the dance, and the rest of it is just put it together. So, the hands are set up, the first stone is a circle. Yeah? And then it's one, two. Step, hop, one, two. That leaves your hands up. Yeah? So I'll do that again. Step, hop, one, two. Your hands are up in the air. Step, hop, step, hop. That's the end of a double step. And your first step off of the next step. Okay? Step, hop, down, up, circle, circle. One step back to normal, three, four, circle. One, two, three, up. <laughs> well, this one's different because it's in the middle of a double set, not a single set. So, starts with step, hop, down, up, circle, circle. One, two, three, hop, circle. One, two, three, and down, up. Put down up again, body three. Okay? So, so when you go into the, the first part of the second slow is the end of the double step. So, so, so that leads you one, two, three, pop your hands down to allow you to do that. Okay? And then it's down, up for the second slow, down, up for the double step. Okay? I'll do it again. Step, hop, one, two, three, hop, 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 one, three. All right? Again? Step, hop, one, two, three, hop, step, hop, one, two, three, hop, step, hop. One, two, three, pop. Down, up. One, two, three, pop. Believe me. Alright? So, start with just the feet. So, just, just do the feet, slow time. <coughs> just cross feet, yeah. Yeah. Just cross
So we're facing, and that's it. Oh, that will do it. Okay. And then it's, that's it. Cross over on 20 green. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So you should, yeah, that's right. So you should do two moving. Two moving, one stood still. Yeah. So, so we've done two. So the third one is number one and number six stand still. Everyone else moves across. No, it doesn't matter. Because that's halfway through the height. So if you were doing a halfway normally, you'd be at the other end of the set. So that's kind of where you should be. Except if you're in the original bank place, yeah? Is that right? Yeah. <coughs> right, now we're body green to the other side. So you're body green, partial partner. Plain paper, so you're back in. Yeah? Facing your palm. <coughs> then the same again. So the other half of the hay. One and three, six and four. They turn. Then the next diagonal. So one now should be in number two's position. Third movement. Okay, now you've got two choices. From here, so you should get the right end of the set now on the wrong side. From here, you can either Bonnie Green and Plain Caper so you finish heading up, as in the video, or what we used to do probably more often was cape around each other so you end in a full line. So that's Bonnie Green, Paper, Paper. So the whole line, like that. Alright, that's how it is up to you. We don't think you can see, we don't know because we're better facing up there. But we can just do the line sometimes. I think maybe it's just a pattern on that for all the babies. Okay, so we'll try and make it all right. We'll try and dance that through this set just quickly. We're over time now, so we'll try and dance that in this set just quickly. It's difficult to call out what other people are doing, so bear with me. Excuse me. He's got a line. 
Thank you. 